Honda. Clarity. Dead, dead, dead. Central Village. But miss. You can't hear me. Boy. Dead. The man take them chip up, so. I tie a right for what they fuck look. I will run off the block when you live for so. I ain't not here. Don't know 95, my brother right here with me, yeah. So it's family, you know what time it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, man's got to speak about that 6-7 ex-gang member, you know, that Ross Clark dropped the U and that. I'm not even gonna lie, you know, like this one is kind of personal to man car. I know the biological father's people there, innit? Yeah, so for first and foremost, yeah, how the fuck is the girl gonna go and drop a U? You understand? With some next random man that ain't even the fucking dad in the yard. I'm telling man already, these sort of things going on, you know. We're gonna get justice for this. That's what I'm saying, we need justice. How can the guy be getting manslaughter? You're getting manslaughter for killing people that I know, little baby. Are you crazy? Manslaughter is nowhere near good enough for you and that. And for that brother as well, I hope my man gets touched in jail. Man's working on that right now. But I'm saying, first and foremost, yeah, like my heart goes out to the youth and that, yeah, and the family that I know. Yeah, it's unbelievable, it's unforgivable what this guy has done. Do you understand? There's no forgiveness on this thing. That's what I keep telling people. You can't barter with evil. We're not bartering with evil no more. We see these people on site, it's on site when we see these sort of people. We've got to get back as community justice, you know. We've got to start this community justice again. I lie, my brother. Come on, man. Like, come on, like, is man mad out here? You think you're going to end up dropping little babies and that? You're going to get away with it? And, and um, it's so mad because speaking to the family relative and that, and they're mad right now. All I've got to say is the fathers now need to be in your fucking kid's life, you know. This is an example where fathers need to be in the life. But what's so funny is that this gal weren't even letting my man being the life, so you're letting the next man bang up your you and you're trying to keep the dad away because you know that the man's beating up your you and that. Listen, see social services as well. Any time, you know, or hospital, any time a little young you, yeah, gets licked up or comes in with some sort of violent or serious accident, you know, like that you should be taken away for a month while the investigation goes on. I'm not talking about taking away the baby, you know, but that you needs to be taken out of that situation until the investigation goes on. Prevention is better than cure. You understand? We're not taking away no one's you, but you got to take that away and take that out of the environment until we know what's going on. Yeah, because we can't have, keep having these youths dropping left, right and centre. And with the government's not, the government, yeah, the people that let that go on should be in jail as well. Yeah, the people that miss that, if you miss a, a, a youth's care, yeah, and attention when that youth needs it the most, yeah, you should be in jail as well. You understand? Simple. It is what it is. But as well, I said, this one there is personal. Yeah, and I'm going to get back on a part two one, yeah, because I've got a bit more information on what's going on with this X67 gang member or whatever. And, you get me? The real father's side. I think the real father has to speak his side and say what's really going on. I got that in part two. The father's going to coincide with me and we're going to speak about this thing and try and show other fathers what they need to be doing in their kid's life to prevent these sort of things happening. And that's what I said. A lot of fathers, as me and my brother know, don't really get their side across. You get me? So we've got to start putting the father's side across now. You understand? How about that? Man lost his youth to another man. And at the same time, you know, she's had a youth with this next man, the killer. So imagine that, you dropped my youth, made my youth drop and replaced my youth with his youth. Are you mad? And you think that we, ain't, we want justice now, you know? We want more prison time for her. And when she comes out, we want justice. On his thing, when he comes out, we want justice. We don't care. Justice for that little youth, Tyrell, man. You don't know, R.I.P. I see an incident where a rascal like, mum must have went to school to fight a rascal like, young kid, yeah? And this is what I'm saying. Parents are getting drawn out now by unruly kids. Like, it's, how, can, how can it ever got to a time where kids ain't even listening to parents? Any little thing, kids just want to be defiant now. Defiant, defiant. When I'm looking at the thing, I'm saying, raw, that's the kid so rude and that. Yeah, and mum's actually come to address you and come to speak to you. And you're moving rude, like, like ain't you got no manners, ain't your mum taught you nothing. This will make a mum lick a you, you know. you got to understand, look, it's not right, you know. No parent should be going down. Let's make this clear. No parent should be going down to lick any you. You understand? But... I'm not saying this ain't a perfect world and the way these youths are talking and the way these youths are moving, some of them you've got to lick them over. Yeah, sometimes remember that the emotions get the better of you sometimes. Sometimes you can't even control yourself. You understand what when I'm saying? When you're hearing your youth, yeah, first thing you're going to do is drop. You get me? You're going to draw for blood when anyone touches your youth. That's what happens to anyone. But what I'm trying to say is, emotionally, we're letting little kids draw us out because they ain't got order in their household. Because they ain't got order where they live now and you've got order. You come now expecting order and then the youths rail up their mouth to you. These youths are mad. Yeah, I'm telling you, you need to approach the parents. The parents need to be feeling the brunt of this. I remember, remember this time last year, 
Get man on the bus died because remember we were to go back to you. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you went up there on a man trick. Like to go back to you, not knowing a man got a knife, a man jumped you up. Yeah, this is a so check your youth and make sure you have all in your in your, in your, in your in your kids' life, man. The way we run our thing around where we come from, different, it's all man. it's different, it's order, yeah, a tough love. And what we get out of that, we see the blessings that we get out of that. You have to be tough as parents, you know. You can't let your kid brow beat you into doing anything. You're the parent, you gotta stand forth, you understand? And every day you gotta say yeah, sometimes you gotta say no, you know. Yeah. Even if you've got it. I'm saying no. Yeah, facts. Every day's got to be sun, sunshine, you know? 100%, man. That's what I'm saying. And it was shocking to see the mum come down and look like, when the video stopped, it looked like the mum was going to smack her after that. So we don't even know what happened. But this is the draw out we're talking about. Yeah, we need to get the parents together and hold the parents accountable for these sort of movements. A little, young little girl, the cheek of it. A young little 30, 40 year old girl talking to a big woman like that. Ain't got, you know what I mean? But want to bully their kid. But then when you come as a parent now, you want to move like that. I'm telling you, these kids are going to have to get order one way or the other. You know? it, They're not going to like it, but the order is going to come one way or the other. We're going to bring, bring, back, bring back that order, man. You done know all the real G's. We're all linking up as well on a side note thing. What you think this ain't going on? All the real G's are linking up on the back note, you know. Not everything we need to put on the fucking camera you know we're linking up and we're doing our thing so when this army when this army's ready the man then will see what's going on that's all i'm about i'm about this man seeing what we're doing and pushing this real order fuck anyone else who don't want the order that's when the man them's lost you know when you make your youth defiant against you you know you've lost you know as a parent you know your youth can never be defiant against you you always gotta lay that law and that order remember law and order for them is the best thing in their life you know your law your order you gotta remember you're the boss you know, you know? That, that's just how it's made isn't it like they weren't raised before you you was raised up before them yeah so you always gotta remember that hierarchy and remember that yeah, a lot of parents these days want to give in to their youths and that without fully understanding certain ramifications of what they're doing. So you understand, you can't just give in to your youths without seeing the whole bigger picture. There's a thing, you know, that man them, real man them's got, you know, and that's insight that youths ain't got and you get that from wisdom. See, insight is a thing where you can look at a picture and know what might happen, do you understand, and know what could happen. Youths ain't got that, they ain't got that because they ain't got wisdom, they ain't lived long enough to know that. Yeah, insight is a very powerful thing. Insight is a thing that saves our kids from certain things. Our life, fam. You don't get done wrong, yeah? There's no booklet, there's no manual to tell you how to be a father, how to be a mother, really. But just do your best, you know? 